what is up everyone welcome back 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 to my channel today i'm making an original recipe polynesian chicken all right um the reason i say it's original is because i'm using polynesian sauce but i'm going to add a few more things to that to make it my own all right so let's get started first you're just gonna start with some chicken all right i'm gonna just add salt black pepper and accent and then I'm going to just fry these because I'm going to be adding the sauce to them all right and placing them in the oven okay I'll be back all right and just mix that all in there really really good make sure when you're handling this chicken to make sure you wash your hands really good I always use bleach and soap or either dish detergent and soap all right so I'm gonna flour these babies up and put them in the hot grease All right, for my Polynesian chicken, I'm about to make my sauce. All right, and first I'm going to start with Polynesian sauce, which is simply just sweet and sour sauce. I'm going to use one and a half of these. Now, the thing of it is when you want to make it your own, it would be someone else's recipe if I simply just had the sweet and sour sauce. But to make it your own, you always have to add something more, something different, all right? And so, we all know that sweet and sour sauce sometimes can be kind of sweet. What you're going to do in order to cut back on that sweetness is you're going to simply add two tops of vinegar. Or you can use um, anything that's acidic. Uh, orange, lemon, lime. In this case, I added vinegar. And I'm going to give that a stir. All right? And so, now I'm going to add two teaspoons of barbecue sauce to that. Okay? Once I did that, it became my own. It's not sweet and sour chicken. All right? It's not sweet and sour. It's not barbecue. It's simply, um, I'm calling it um, Polynesian chicken uh, simply because I'm using mostly Polynesian sauce. All right? Now, I'm going to add mandarin juice to this, two tablespoons. I'm going to add paprika to this, just a pinch because that's hot. Give it a little zing, all right? And then I'm going to add a little ginger. Not too much because ginger has a very strong flavor, all right? Okay, so that's a little bit of ginger. A little bit of ginger goes a very long way. Stir that in. Just a little um, garlic goes a long way as well as the ginger. Mix that together really good. Then I'm going to add some honey so that this sticks to the uh, chicken. two tablespoons of honey. Mix 
that up really good. All right, so the sauce is ready and the chicken is ready. So I'm going to add the chicken. Once I add the sauce to this, I'm going to um, place it in the oven for about 10 minutes so that the sauce cooks in really, really good. All I'm gonna do is just mix this and place it back in the same pan. Also, to help cut back on some of the sweetness, you can add green onions, which some people call scallions, and that's what I did, and parsley. You could top this with this. And this also gives excellent um, flavor as well. And then, like I said, I'm just going to place this in the oven, and um, I'll be back. All right, so here is the finished product of my Polynesian chicken. You all have to smell this. All right, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to press that post notification bell so that each time I post a new video, you will be notified. And listen, if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. Until my next video, I'll see you all later.